Hello everyone. Welcome to the session of hemoparasites. Parasites that are seen in the blood. Important parasites that are infecting the human beings are Babesia, Trypanosoma, Leishmania, Filaria, Malaria. Let's learn the Babesia. Babesiosis is caused by the microscopic parasite that infect RBCs. Babesia species transmitted by ticks, mainly by genus Ixodus ticks. Four types of the species of Babesia important for human infections are Babesia divergence, Babesia duncani, Babesia microti, Babesia M01. The diagnosis of infection is done by the smear examination. In Babesia infection, infected RBCs are normal in size and typically rings are seen on peripheral blood smear. They may be vacuolated, pleomorphic or pyriform, extracellular or tetrad forms may also present. The tetrad forms are also called the Maltese cross pattern. Unlike the plasmodium species, Babesia organism lack pigment. The other important modality of diagnosis is indirect fluorescence antibody test. The patient's titer gradually rise to more than or equal to 1 is to 1024 during the first week of illness and decline gradually over 6 months to titer of 1 is to 16 to 1 is to 256 but may remain detectable at low level for a year or more. Other confirmatory test available is a PCR. Let's learn the life cycle of Babesia. When infected tick bites human for the blood meal, the sporozoids from the tick that are introduced into the human host. The sporozoid transform into trophozoid and merozoids and they cause infection. The normal life cycle for this parasite is between mouse and the tick. The symptom of babesiosis are fever, chills, sweating, myalgia, fatigue, hepatosplenomegaly and hemolytic anemia. The treatment of infection is atobacone, azithromycin or clindamycin plus quinine. Let's learn the trypanosoma. Mainly two type of the trypanosomal infections are present. First is African and the second is American trypanosoma. First we see the African trypanosoma which is also called the sleeping sickness. It is caused by the microscopic parasites of species trypanosoma bruzi. The vector for sleeping sickness is Sese fly, which is found in sub Saharan Africa. Important species for the Trypanosoma are Trypanosoma bruzi gambians and Trypanosoma bruzi rhodesians. Let's learn the life cycle of African Trypanosomiasis. When infected sedse fly takes a blood meal which inject a metacyclic tripomastigotes into the human host. This metacyclic tripomastigote transform into the blood stream tripomastigotes which are carried to other sites. The tripomastigotes multiply by binary fusion in the various body fluids like blood, lymph and CSF. The blood tripomastigotes are detectable in the acute phase only. When CSA fly bites the infected human, these tripomastigotes are ingested and transformed into the procyclic tripomastigote in the mid gut of fly. The procyclic tripomastigotes leaves the mid gut and transform into the epimastigotes which are multiplied in the salivary gland. Gradually, 
they transform into the trypanosome goat which are infected from to human clinically two stages detectable are hemolymphatic stage followed by meningoencephalic stage which is detected by examining the blood and the csf respectively the symptoms of the infections are headache malaise fatigue weakness pruritus and arthralgia diagnosis it is done by the light microscopic examination a detection of the parasite in the lymph node aspirate it is a extracellular flagellated parasite concentration technique and the serial examination can be used for the blood rapid diagnostic test kits are also available the staging is performed by the microscopic examination of the csf for the motile trypanosome goat forms and wbcs when wbcs are less than or equal to 5 per microliter and no trypanosome goat forms are seen then we label it as a first stage when wbc are more than 5 per microliter or trypanosome goats are seen then we label as a second stage the treatment is pentamidine and other drugs are also available that are suramin melarsoprol eflornithin etc the next is american trypanosoma also known as chagas disease causable parasite is trypanosoma cruzi vector for this disease is triatomine insect other reservoir host are armadillos opossums raccoons rodents etc the life cycle of trypanosoma cruzi is same as that of the african trypanosomiasis the difference is vector here is triatomine bug and metacyclic trypanosome got form into the amosome gods by the binary fission in this cycle the symptoms are the fever and the swelling around the site of inoculation heart rhythm abnormalities dilated heart that is unable to pump blood well dilated esophagus and the colon leading to dysphagia and difficulty in passing stool diagnosis is done by a thick and the thin blood smear examination the light microscopic examination reveal extracellular flagellated parasite other important modalities are indirect fluorescent antibody test and pcr the treatment is nifertimox and benzidazole let's focus on leishmania leishmaniasis is a vector borne disease that is transmitted by the scent flies and the caused by the obligate intracellular protozoa of genus leishmania the important species are L donovani complex L mexicana complex L tropica L major L ethiopica life cycle of leishmania when infected scent fly takes a blood meal then promastigot stage of the parasites are being injected into the human these promastigot forms are phagocytosed by the macrophages or mononuclear cells promastigots transform into the amastigots these amastigots multiply in the cells of the various tissues and infect the other cells sand flies bite infected human and it takes the macrophage infected with amastigots along with the blood A mastigots transform into the pro mastigot stage divide in the gut and migrate to proboscis and the cycle completes
three different types of the forms are seen in the leishmaniasis that are visceral cutaneous and mucosal forms in cutaneous leishmaniasis one or more cutaneous lesions on the area where scent flies have fed are seen sores look like a volcano with a raised edge and the central crater visceral leishmaniasis also known as kala azar the symptoms are fever weight loss and large spleen and liver anemia leukopenia and thrombocytopenia Diagnosis is mainly done by the microscopic examination. A mastigots can be visualized by microscopic examination with both Jimsa and H&E stain. Isolation of parasite in the culture using isoenzyme analysis and it is a conventional diagnostic approach. Other tests are antibody detection that are anti-leishmanial antibodies and the PCR. treatment iv liposomal amphotericin b is used for the visceral leishmaniasis and meltefocin used in all three type of leishmaniasis but it is contraindicated in the pregnant woman cutaneous and mucosal leishmaniasis amphotericin b deoxycholate ketoconazole itraconazole fluconazole are used Let's learn the filaria. Important species of the filarial nematodes are Bucheria bancrofti, Brugia malei, Brugia timori. In ninety percent of the cases, the species is Bucheria bancrofti. The vectors are mosquito. and different species of the mosquito are responsible in the different regions like in africa the anopheles mosquitoes are responsible for this disease in america culex and in pacific and the in the asia aedes and manchonia are responsible for this filarial infection let's see the life cycle when infected mosquito takes a blood meal l3 larva enter the skin transform into the adults in the lymphatics adult produce sheath microfilaria that migrate into lymphatic and peripheral blood circulation mosquito bites infected human ingest microfilaria microfilaria shed sheaths and penetrate mosquitoes mid gut and migrate to thoracic muscles they ta- transform gradually into l1 to l3 larva and migrate to mosquito head and proboscis symptoms are severe lymphadenoma of limbs hydrocele due to the dysfunction of lymphatic vessel affected limbs become grossly swollen and skin become thick and pitted scrotal <coughs> sorry <coughs> scrotal hydrocele lymphangitis lymph adenopathy and eosinophilia and tropical pulmonary eosinophilia are also seen let's understand each species first is bucheria bancrofti Microfilaria of Bucheria bancrofti are sheath and measure around 240 to 300 micrometer. It has a gently curved body and tapered tail. The nuclear column is loosely packed and does not extend to the tip of the tail. Adults are long and thread like. Male measures up to around 40 mm and females are measured around 80 to 100 mm long. the adults are primarily found in lymphatics
नेक्स्ट इज रुगिया मलाई माइक्रोफाइलेरिया आर शीत एंड मेजर अराउंड 175 सेवेंटी फाइव टू टू थर्टी माइक्रोमीटर द टेल इज टेपर्ड एंड द सिग्निफिकेंट गैप इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन द टर्मिनल एंड सब टर्मिनल न्यूक्लियाई थर्ड इज रुगिया टिमोरी दिस माइक्रोफाइलेरिया ऑल्सो शीत एंड मेजर अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड माइक्रोमीटर शीत does not stain with the gymsa and larger number of nuclei in the single file occupy the tail diagnosis is mainly done by the light microscopy peripheral blood smear collection of the blood at the night after the 8 pm is must because they have the nocturnal periodicity other test includes antigen detection by immunoassay antibody detection by immunoassay like antifiler antibody ig1 and igg4 the treatment is albendazole plus ivermectin albendazole plus dec and only dc the next is oncocerca volvulus also called the river blindness the pathogen is filarial nematode and vector is infected black fly it causes eye and skin disease visual impairment and permanent blindness the diagnosis is done by microscopy the finding of microfilaria in the skin snips adults in the biopsy of the skin the treatment is ivermectin or doxycycline malaria is already discussed in detail in the separate video the link is in the description below this is the reference for this video hope you like it thank you